What's going on fam, Ali and Adam here. In this video, we're gonna learn how to denoise vocals. If you've had vocals that have uh, background noise, PC noise, ambient noise in the background, we can remove that and there's a very simple way we can do it in FL Studio 12 using Edison. So let's get right into it. What I have here is a file I recorded earlier in Audacity. Let's play it back for you, it's beautiful. I was going to the KFC and I realized I really need some KFC. What's going on with that file is there's a lot of background noise and uh, if we play it back in the beginning, in the end, in between, we'll hear that hum. So what we need and what will be problematic is if you don't have the noise. So you want the source, you want to identify and acquire the profile of the noise. I'll better explain once we get rolling. So we'll double click this and right click on this section and hit edit. I recommend switching to spectrum view. Spectrum view is gonna show you more information than just, than just seeing the waveform. So go ahead and press S on your keyboard. Now we can see here where we wanna grab are the most quiet areas because here I'm probably maybe coughing or breathing. Yep, or like a little chair crack. And here, what is it? Okay, that's like my lip. So we're gonna have to find an area that's as dark as possible. This looks pretty good. Yeah, we can see there, it's just leaving the PC noise. So here we have two computers. Uh, my brother's computer is a bit louder. So it's gonna create some noise with the, the case fans and whatnot. So that's what we're hearing there. So what we're gonna do, once you've selected an area, and if we switch back, we can see, yep, that's a pretty quiet area. But again, I recommend Spectrum because when we look here at first glance, you would have thought that in the beginning you would have been okay. So um, just double check with your ears, trust your ears, and the Spectrum view is great to show you a bit more information. So at this point, right click, hit Tools, and hit Acquire Noise Profile. Now that you've done that, we're gonna scroll out, select everything, control A, and we're gonna go to clean up denoise. So it has the noise profile, we won't have to press this. What we're gonna do is just output the noise only to see what are we removing because there is a you know a turning point where you start going into speech and you start removing too much of the air and the high end and the crispiness and treble of the vocal. Um, but likewise, if you have a very noisy vocal, that can be problematic. So you got to find a balance. Let's see how this sounds. It's not too bad. If we increase the amount all the way. Uh, you guys are probably he not hearing enough of that, so... It's not super loud, but if we bump up the threshold. What we can do to speed this up, let's start playing when the vocal begins. Go back to clean up denoise. And uh, this threshold, we're at about minus three. And the amount, we're at about 20. And it's not too bad if we output the noise. It's pretty good. You know, it's not getting too much into the speech, so I'm happy with that. So these settings will will be pretty good, so let's accept that. Let's drag our selection and compare these two. So we drag it into the playlist. I was going to the KFC and I realized I really need some KFC. Let's compare. I was going to the KFC and I realized I really need some KFC. So that's pretty solid. Uh, that we, again, minus three and we had it around 20. Um, I usually leave more conservative settings for my denoising because you have to keep in mind if, unless you're using it for a different purpose, but if you're gonna be running it through effects, you know, reverbs, delays, choruses, you're better off having a little bit of noise um, at the expense and at the benefit of 
keeping and retaining the vocal rather than getting right into it. So let's show you an example where we would be too harsh. One in the middle is going to be the one that we first did. The one on the top is going to be the extremely denoised. So let's see. I was going to the KFC. I was going to the KFC. I was going to the KFC. And I realized I really need some KFC. So you could use extreme amounts if you're doing something for broadcasting or like, let's say you need it to extract something. Um, it really depends on the need. But I find that more moderate settings are better. Being more conservative with it will benefit you in the long run in your effects chain, especially if your vocal was lacking brightness because then you'll have to compensate and really add a lot of harmonics to the track. So um, very basic way that you can do it, guys. It's very great. Just make sure that you have some reference. You need an area that's quiet in the track. So if you're working with a vocalist, um, let's say via Skype or SoundCloud, and he sends you his uh, his stuff, his content, make sure that he has areas you know unedited. So he sends you the raw vocal because if he starts making chops and cuts, very little that you can do because at that point, if you're not left with stuff that you can acquire the profile with, it's kind of a crapshoot. It's not going to be a pleasant experience. It'll be way more difficult. And again, hitting that S using Spectrum View makes it very easy to do in Edison. And uh, very simple. Guys, I hope you liked this tutorial. Uh, hopefully it was very simple, easy, straightforward to uh, follow. If you guys liked this video, drop a like, leave me a comment. More videos like this are going to be coming. And uh, I'm curious to know your suggestions. I would love to work on tutorials from your guys' feedback. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then. Keep making them gains.